Hello there, and welcome to another edition of Rudiments 101. This time, we're going to do the flam accent. We'll follow the same format we've always done, mostly because I have fun doing it. I'm going to play the rudiment, slow to fast to slow. If I mess up or something, it is what it is. I'll critique it afterwards, say what I did that might uh, need improvement or whatnot. Then I'll generally do something fairly stupid. And after that, I'll give you some tips on how you can improve yours. All right? Your rudiments, meaning. All right, let's get this show on the road and see what happens here, okay? sticks a couple of times on the way up which isn't surprising it's one of those days where my sticks seem to kind of be attracted to each other uh, I believe I had an almost flat flam once and I kind of detected something kind of maybe technically I need to shower up on or something like that you know and uh, speaking of showering up perhaps you're noticing your your playing's a little dirty, say. A little unclean. Perhaps from top to bottom, it's unclean. Well, let me suggest a couple of things. First, we have Bexy Dentons. Yeah! Ah, Mexican gum cleaner. Prescription only in Mexico. Really great for the mouth, guys. I can feel my gums tightening up right there. And to get a little more of that top part clean in your plan, nasal spray, saline. I mean, get it cleaned out, folks. We're going to get y'all playing like champs here. For the middle part, I suggest... Ah. Mmm. Obsession. Go ahead and get the big size, because it's going to take a while before that, clean, uh, that plane cleans up. And you know what? Maybe obsession's not your style. This one's really sexy for the ladies I like. For you girl plays, girl players out there, oh my lord. Elizabeth Taylor. Passion. Seductive. Mystical. With just a hint of nighttime fun. This will have the middle of that playing doing really well. And folks, for the bottom end of your playing, nothing can top it like sodium phosphates. I'll tell you what, this stuff is great for those long bus journeys cross-country during DCI season. Do with those what you will. That should help your playing. As far as the um, flam accent I just did, let me give you a couple of tips. One of the best tips is going to be, one, clean your flames. Before you should really do a flam accent, you should fairly ha have a good familiarity with the flam and not doing flat flams. Okay? Basically, an, a flam accent is just a triplet with a flam on the start. Do what I have said in some of my other videos. Isolate one hand by putting it on the rim. That is probably the best way to do it. Play both hands at the same time so you can figure out which one is weaker if you're not sure. Because something, you know, when you're younger, whatever hand is your dominant hand normally does better. As you get older and you play more, sometimes you have to figure it out. Here's a good way to do it. Eh, 
those should help you out pretty good to start with. Uh, both hands at the same time, one hand at the at uh, at a time, and then just uh, play them at an even tempo, possibly along with one of your favorite songs or whatever, whoever's on the radio, and just keep going. Try some of those tips, and um, wait for the uh, Rudiments 201 edition to get a little more into the um, the other aspects of it. And uh, good luck with it. Don't get frustrated. It's going to take time. It's going to take practice. And remember, folks, it's just drums. Catch you later.